Hello and thank you for joining the midweek edition of Journalist Hangout. I'm Ayodili Ozubaku. Today on the program, Zamfara State House of Assembly stops 700 million naira annual pension to ex-governors and um, others. And later on the show, INEC to conduct election in 53 polling units for Kogi West Senatorial Run as cleric accuses commission security agencies of allowing talks to kill voters. I will be hanging out with Babajide Kolade Utitoju and Wahid Bakari. So if you are ready, let the hangout start now. Wow. Thank you for joining us. Now, the opulence of political offices is perhaps one of the reasons for the do or die nature of our politics. Even after loss of power, politicians who want no end to the spoils of office they enjoyed. 700 million naira is an amount that someone may never spend in a lifetime. Yet this huge sum is what a former governor in Zamfara State and other ex-governors were to earn in, in a year after office. But this is about to come to a halt as the State House of Assembly sent a bill countering this to Governor Pelu Matawale for accent. House leader Farouk Dosara described the law as a jamboree for the former political leaders at the detriment of retired civil servants who are owed a month of entitlement. The bill is now law, which means the ex-governors in the states like Abdulaziz Yari will no longer enjoy such benefits except those prescribed by the National Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission. Jide, let's have a background to what is happening in Zamfara State. Because yesterday, as um, I called you yesterday night and it was like, oh, we can see how things are turning in Zamfara State. But on the surface, some Nigerians applauded the move for Zamfara State House of Assembly, that is, um, it, it's a step in the right direction, that we might have a bandwagon effect, <laughs> that other state assembly of assemb House of Assemblies might take a to, um, turn to start doing this. So what is happening in Zamfara politics? Well, uh, <clears throat> there's no doubt that the relationship be between the current governor, Bello Matawale, and the middle past governor, Abdulaziz Yari, um, has gone from bad to worse. Governor Matawale complains that every time Yari comes into town, violence happens. And he cherishes the peace that he has been able to agenda by engaging directly, of course, with the support of the IG, with the bandits who are killing people for fun in that state. Now he accuses the former governor of stoking the embers of violence every time he comes into town. He accuses him of holding meetings and all that. He accuses him of um, recruiting the NSAK in the first place the vigilance group that uh, is known to have attacked the uh, Fulani uh, on a number of occasions, leading to uh, bloody reprisal attacks from the Fulani. The last one happened in uh, Karai just um, almost two weeks ago. And the governor was very embarrassed. So things got worse. He even threatened that he, he could arrest the former governor. But he has now taken a step. After the, uh, the middle pass governor wrote a letter requesting that his upkeep allowance of 10 million a month should be paid to him, the governor got angry. I think that letter was leaked somehow. somehow. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it, it was, the governor got angry and decided to um, take it further. The truth is, Many people do not know that Zamfara State has five former governors who are alive. Two of them were inherited from Sokoto State. Dr. Garuba Nadama 
who succeeded his immediate boss, Shou Kangiwa, who died while playing yeah. polo. Polo. While playing polo in Sokoto in uh, 1981. He's, uh, he succeeded his boss. So he's, because he came from the Zamfara part of old Sokoto state. Okay. So his pension is, Zamfara is, Zamfara. is handled by Zamfara state government and he has a deputy. There is also Yahya Abdul Karim. Yahya Abdul Karim was also governor of Sokoto state. But he comes from That's Zafara from, State. Yes, from uh, Zafara, Zafara State. Part. Yes. And of course, his pension gets uh, paid by Zafara. Zafara, Zafara. Both of them were from Guso and Talata Mafara, okay. which um, uh, the, the former Middle Pass governor comes from. Now, by the letters of that uh, law, which was, which became history this afternoon because the governor gave his assent with dispatch. The governors, the former governors. So after this, these two governors that I mentioned yes, earlier, yes. we have Ahmed Sani Yerima Bakura. We have him. Mm. That, he came in 1999, mm. did two terms. Mm. Then we have Mahmouda Shinkafi. Oh. Yes, Mahmouda Shinkafi, who did one term. Oh, you know, oh. he joined the PDP, okay, and okay. Uh, and he was not re-elected, okay, okay, which is the danger in going to join a, a rival party in the one-party state. He joined the PDP and he was not re-elected, but he is on record that he was governor, and he had a debt. Now, the last uh, person being Abdulaziz Mohamed Yari himself, mm. Abdulaziz Mohamed Yari. Former middle past governor who has a deputy. Governors are entitled to five million. The ex governors are entitled to five million each from this, based on the letters of this law. law. Then there are deputies and deputy speakers. There are deputies and speakers and deputy, deputy speakers, speakers yes. also entitled to the same sum of five million. Yeah. Former governor entitled to a house a five-bedroom apartment in any area that he chooses in our country. He is entitled to vacation either in Nigeria or abroad. It is his decision to make on the bill of the government. He is, his family members are entitled to free Medicare in Nigeria and abroad. That's a decision for him to make. He is entitled to two Vehicle, uh, four vehicles that will be replaced. So two vehicles that will be replaced every four years. So when you look at this, it's in excess of a billion naira. For Zamfara State. For a poor state. And then what this governor is saying is that he inherited liabilities in form of unpaid pension, promotion uh, uh, um, uh, benefits and all that. That if you didn't pay all of this to civil servants, you are owing them, you cost us to inherit those liabilities, and you want to continue to earn, I mean, along with other people, this humongous sum of money. Whereas the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Commission already has a template for pensions mm -hmm. for political uh, office, office holders, holders, including governors. That one, you know, we've, we've always complained that even those senators. Mm. It's like you are a senator, you are taking pension. But when you get to the Senate, you earn salary. And when you Bukola so Saraki you know, was forced to drop his to uh, stop uh, his collecting it, you know, yeah. in, in Quara after so much noise. But there are some of them who, who cannot be bothered and they are still taking it. So that's well, double payment. Because you have not retired. You only left office. You only left a particular office. But you are in the Senate, you are earning money, and you are still collecting well, uh, pension. So it's, it's a matter of where does he find money? This is where I pity the man. I'm not saying that this uh, couldn't have been a result of bad blood between both of men. Absolutely. I know that they, are, they, they, they have issues. But the truth is, if you are able to save this fund, because he has now said that, oh, in, 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 the, in the speech that he read today, he said, I will devote these funds that I'm going to save. 
to youth uh, development and infrastructure. <laughs> then we as journalists, we should be able to hold him account so if after a few uh, months, months we don't, don't begin to see improvement. Okay, um, Wahid, I want to look at the alacrity in which that bill was actually passed. It went through first reading in a day, second, second reading in a day, <laughs> it went to general, um, this thing, um, the, the third reading in a day, and it got to the governor today, and the governor is not, is not a law. <laughs> that shows you that if they, are, if they are determined to do something, to pass any law, they will do it. Don't forget that the house, you know, I think, is the, um, the, the, predominantly the, a, 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 a PDP house. Everyone is PDP. Everybody uh, yes, in the yes, house. Yes. Mm -hmm. they, they will do it. But they don't have to wait until when something affects them before they, they hurt. Governance is about the people. And I think they have taken a, a, a right decision by saying that no, no to this. Look at it. We have somebody who spent four years a term as a governor is going to be entitled to this. Whereas we have civil servants who spent 35 dies, years, mm. who spent 35 years serving mm. the state meritoriously, and they have no need to show for it. We see from time to time how pensioners will be in queue. Mm. You see, some of them no, falling die, down. Die on the mm. queue. They, they will die. They will die while in the queue. You know, they die of ailment that ordinary unions have killed because they don't, have money. they don't have money. They don't have money. They don't have money to take care of themselves. And you have somebody who might have perhaps stolen some money when he was in, in government. See, enjoying some of this benefit. No, it, it, it can't work. It can't work. And I think they have, they have taken the right decision. But they should also use this opportunity to make sure that any bill that has that have to do with people, they give it the right action, the way they have handled this one. Mm -hmm. It should not be a one-off thing. But, but you know, what might have made Abdulaziz Yari to demand for his entitlement, is his entitlement, we can't take that away from him. Um, and writing a letter to the governor in less than one year after leaving office. I know some of these things, um, if you work with um, government bureaucracy, some of these things, they might decide to pay backlog of one year. They might decide to, you know, do some other things. Why this new government is just settling down. What do you think Yari is asking for 10 million a monthly upkeep? No, the, if the money, uh, if what he was asking for was not illegal, then he had every reason to ask for it. Yeah, yeah. A law was passed. And it's not the only one. This same kind of so law. He has collected, huh? uh, he has collected um, twice before now. Mm. But he had just collected twice be uh, before now. And then in, the, uh, in, the, in that letter, yeah. yes. The, the, what I, the point I'm making is, he sees this as his entitlement. And since the law prescribed that it should be it should paid be to him, it was well within his rights to demand for it. You know? Because it was, it was the passed into law, but it, and you must obey the law. So he felt, okay, now, in their own case, they had been looking at this thing for so long that as governor, he had so much money, you know, and uh, with the pecs of office and all that. And now he wants to continue to enjoy more or less like he was still in government. He was still governor. So they felt they had to do something about it. Take a permanent step, not a remedial step. So we're taking a permanent step now to put an end to the thing. And it's not only him that has been affected. So we have governors inherited, ex-governors inherited from old Sokoto State who are also affected. So it's not, uh, and then you have the speakers and deputy speakers who are also affected. affected. So Yari had every reason to say, what's going on? What, what's, why is this guy uh, reluctant to pay my money? But you see, what this will also do is that it will encourage governors to always try to put their own people there. Even though there's no guarantee, there's no guarantee that even when you put your people, they won't turn against you. Because I always remember the case of uh, Chimaroke Namani mm. and even Sullivan Chime. Chimaroke Namani fought against Jim Wobodo, yes. who brought him from Loma Linda University in the US where he was working. Mm. I made them governor of Anambra, uh, of Enugu. They began to fight almost from the first day. They, they even shared the two, they even shared the assembly into two. Both of them had the same number of oh, assembly oh, members. Oh. The Enugu uh, group, they were holding their own uh, assembly meetings in Abuja, while Enugu's group had the guts to stay in Enugu and hold their meetings. Later on, 
Chima Aroke succeeded in snatching one person mm. and the balance changed, mm. tilted in his favor, and eventually he seized complete control of the house. Now, after that, he decided that he did not want to see so Anything many of the people who work with him. All the legacy. No, the people who work with him, okay. even his own people okay. who work with him. And then settled for Sullivan Chime. Okay, okay. Is that Sullivan Chime? Is that Tony General? Yes. Mm. Sullivan Chime began to Quiet guy that time. From <laughs> the first day. No, he looked quiet, but he was a very mean person. <laughs> Sullivan Chime began to fight him the same day that I took office. He said he doesn't want to hear people, anything called Ebano. <laughs> people who worked with uh, um, uh, Chime Aroke Namani. Mm. The Bonekus of this world, the Boneku or Gazimora. He chased them out of their government uh, apartments. He could not even wait for them, you know, to, 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 to look for a place where they could stay. They were evicted. And like they were wondering, is this not the same person that we served in the same administration? So he turned against Chimaroke Namani. History always repeats itself. People who go out of Jaguar, you saw what uh, Shomale too did. Mm. People work for him, who toiled with him for eight years. Mm -hmm. He fought them, even his own cabinet. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they overwhelmingly backed his deputy. Mm -hmm. But Oje Wonle could not be convinced. He carried Obaseki's matter mm -hmm. for head, mm -hmm. as then they speak for Benin. Mm -hmm. He carried Obaseki's mm -hmm. matter put for head. What do we have today? Obaseki is diminishing, has, his, he all diminishing him with every opportunity. Small boys, small boys. Mm. In uh, those states, who, who, who some months back could never look uh, Oshomole in the face, they are the ones abusing Oshomole as if it's, it's, it's not worth more than uh, um, uh, leaf uh, that dropped in autumn. <laughs> you know? So, this is the thing. People must learn that look, whoever you put there, <laughs> You can only be lucky. If he chooses to fight you, fine. If he does, if he does, you have no guarantee that your successor will support you. This is what we are seeing. Because Matawale and Yari, they are not exactly enemies. But they are not just from the same party and... They used to be together. Mm. They used to all be Yeriman's boys. Okay, the former government. Yes, they used to be together. There are pictures, I still see pictures today that they, they, they snap together. When Matawale was commissioner for environment. But this is what we have. Okay, I think I have Paul calling from Lagos. F calling from Joss. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you, my brother. All right, go ahead with your contribution, please. Yeah, uh, greeting to your guests here, yeah, especially GD, uh, Mr. GD. I agree to how he does. I think uh, he, in fact, he, I think he, he, he knows, he knows, he knows the full, the full, the full, the full history of this country when it comes to politics. Thank you, my brother. What, what we should be asking ourselves, why, why are these people fighting themselves? This, the, uh, the governor and the, uh, the, the ex-governor, why are they fighting themselves? Is it about service delivery? It's about money. You understand me? I've kept on saying it until we make our politics unattractive. That is when we will get this country right. That is when we will stop killings in this country. You are telling me, because this is the only this is the only institution or this is the only body that pays the highest money in this country. No any other profession that pays high, high, highest money. Even uh, the profession that uh, Mr. Gide belongs to. Mm. Yeah? Just, just, uh, uh, journalism or what of 18. Mm. Do you see people get, 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 you know, get attracted to it? Or no. Because they want to you that don't get like I want to. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank <laughs> you. from Plaza State. Why did I think what happened in Zamfara is just like, you know, something that's, that has been preordained. But nobody bargained for it. When you are talking about Zamfara State, you are talking about a state that is absolutely in control of the All Progressive Congress. As in all Kida and everything. But that Supreme Court verdict altered the calculation and we are where we are today. And uh, the, uh, Abdulaziz Jari lost out lost everything completely completely, completely. Yes, yes all the state house of assembly three senatorial streets the house of representative seats and himself he wanted to go to the senate yes he lost out everything i think there's no doubt about it that that supreme court judgment you know altered the political calculation of that state forever you know mm -hmm. we have a situation whereby they say you don't have candidate because of the fact that you set a rule for yourself that was that was apc now you set a rule for yourself you refuse to follow your rule that was what they used against the party 
And that there is a lesson to be learned from that. That you you are not disciplined when it comes to internal democracy. Mm -hmm. How can we not entrust you with the larger democracy? You are the one who set this rule for yourself. You refuse to follow that rule. So that's what Supreme Court hammer on. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are where we are, that's what led us to where we are today. But the beauty of it, like the caller said, is that is this about the people, about two individuals fighting each other? Of course, about two individuals fighting each other, even though I want to support the fact that they are able to repeal the law. And look at the process they, they, they took. They follow the due process. It's become difficult for you to follow the, to, to follow the process that they followed. They follow the due process in yes. repealing that law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's become difficult because I have a situation whereby one, one person will not take them to court. We are talking of over 1.2 billion to be expended on ex political office holders in a state that is virtually, that's virtually has no, no any other thing. One Nigeria. of the, the poorest states in Nigeria. They can't boast of any meaningful no internal, internal no generated, mm -hmm. generated revenue. No they depend largely on Abuja to get funds. And the fund that they are getting from Abuja, I want to be using to pay pension. Uh, they were uh, not even paying officers. minimum wage. Look at, look, yes. at, look at those Friday who have served. I'm sure there wage. are so many civil servants who have served in that state for a minimum of uh, for 35 years. They are expected to serve before they, they retire. What have become of those people? I have to say where the governor said, no, we cannot continue with this in, the, in this way, except if you don't want meaningful development in that state. And Baba, I think it's... it's, it's, it's Babaji, we have several other states yes. that passed this law yes in the last dispensation and you can't um, uh, it, it will be very difficult mm -hmm. to ask the state house of assembly that uh, you know 100 percent in control of um, their political parties and everything to start repealing this uh, across the board so but should is it fair morally right for governors that are leading to make influence this kind of law so that when they leave office they enjoy this kind of like just you've forgotten that this same governor and security votes entertainment allowance eight years of you know harvest is um is immoral and um i believe that a time will come when nigerians truly begin to challenge their leaders this sort of shenanigans will stop. But we don't challenge our leaders. When a governor comes up with this idea, naturally, he should be sued. He should be taken to court. Hmm. But how many people have done that? Tested it. Civil society organizations hmm. should not be permitting this kind of things to happen, especially hmm. based on the fact that those governors end up in the Senate. They always want to go to the Senate. That's their retirement end up, No, that's not retirement. <laughs> when they say it's retirement, those, they don't know what they're saying. When you are in the Senate, you've actually started politicking at the national level. Mm. So it's not retirement. I yeah. hear people say I, I, that. I, I look I, at I them. After leaving the National Assembly, they are thinking mm. of something higher. Yes. Mm. In the National Assembly, they want to become president. So how is that retirement? Retirement from politics? No. <laughs> that can't be retirement. It's a misplaced phrase. Because once they leave that place, they, they are saying that, look, I've left the level of the state, I'm moving to, to national. national. And then you call that retirement. It's no retirement. It's a big player. It's a, yes, it becomes a, a bigger, bigger player yeah. on the world scene. And mm -hmm. there is no way that even when you look at it, that you can say that a, a, a senator is inferior to a governor. He may be inferior in terms of um, the quantum of funds at his disposal, yes, but at the, on the national scale, is is not seen as an inferior. Okay, I have another caller. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Yes. I I want to thank you very much, uh, uh, you guys over there. Especially Babajide. Please go ahead. Tell me. Okay, I think we lost Tell me. Julius, so, so you cannot say, for example, that uh, Bukola Saraki, after being governor for, for, eight years. for eight years, he moved to the Senate and, and became Senate so president. president. Number three man in the country. And <clears throat> you call that retirement. How is that retirement? It's not from retirement. Three man, it is to, moving from to, from, uh, from to, an unnumbered, to unnumbered person as a governor from an unnumbered position. He becomes number three in the country after he left the, the state, and then they call that retirement. They don't know what they are saying when they say that. You know, <laughs> Arujile will not make a person talk like that. The truth is, these guys 
from from uh, state level, they want to play on the big stage, and the big stage is in Abuja. Hmm. That's where the action is. So when you move to Abuja, you have climbed higher in your political career. People must know this. When you want to see the big shows in our country now, they hardly even stay in their country, in their state. Hmm. It's in Abuja that people, people go to meet them. They are easier to find there. That is why the, the bigger politics is played. Hmm. The president can send for them any minute. They want to be available when he sends for them. Hmm. You know? So this is the thing. Once they get to the National Assembly, they shouldn't be entitled to the so-called pension that they designed for themselves. Hmm. A lot of the states have it, but I'm convinced that many of those states will not do what Matawali has done hmm. because... Some governors could be thinking that, ah, me too, I will benefit from this now when I leave office. If I repeal this, now me lose now. Then if some houses of assembly speakers also uh, uh, are thinking of the, how they will benefit, they will not tell, they will not tell their colleagues, that, uh, they will not allow their colleagues to, to vote for the repeal. Hmm. So this is the thing. This thing, we have this law in Lagos, we have in Aquaibom, we have in uh, Kwara, I we have in many places. Well, you know, we have in many places. Mm -hmm. If we sit back now and wait, I expect that there will be a bandwagon effect for this. <laughs> we'll wait life. eternity. Uh, you will wait. <laughs> Can that happen in Lagos yeah. House of Assembly? <laughs> nobody, oh, nobody will touch it. All right. Nobody will touch it. <laughs> I have a caller. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good evening. Yes, Kazim. Good evening. Nasir. I'm Nasir calling from Mowe. Oh, Mowe. Okay, how is Mowe yeah. today? Uh, are you coping I'm, with the traffic? traffic good luck, uh, I'm fine, though. <laughs> ah, that but traffic can today, kill. It can kill. <laughs> Last week, calling from away. I thank you, people, though, and you are doing a nice job. Honestly, uh, you are really trying. Thank you. And uh, I enjoy watching TVC. Thank uh, you. I love your station. Thank uh, you. Uh, I told you, your name, your name, your name, your name, your name, your name, keep it up. Keep it up. I see. Honestly, Wahid, you are welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Honestly, we should be able to tell ourselves the home truth. Mm. Masses are not finding it easy at all these days. Things are not that easy. And me, I'm giving praise to the president, Muhammad Buhari. He's trying, no doubt about that. But this year, this idea of trying to make politics too attractive, especially the offices, mm. where somebody is a governor, he wants to do all this to be there. Because of all these jumbo, jumbo, jumbo packages attached to it. Please, most of so these days, we have people with master's degree, two, three in each household without job. And somebody, look at the state of Sampara. We're talking about Sampara State here. What idea do they have? And oh, yet, so somebody is still willing. Not one retired governor, though, not two retired governors, who still want to collect. This job booping, honestly, is not fair. Thank you. you. Thank women. you, Nasir. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. I will quickly go on this break. When we come back, we'll discuss more. It's still journalist hangouts. Please stay with us. Don't go away. Welcome back. It's your award-winning program, Journalist Hangouts. We're reaching you live from Television Continental here in Lagos, Nigeria. And before we went on break, we're talking about this um, law what was passed into repealed the law that was repealed by the Zafara State House of Assembly and effectively from today from what we gathered from what we gathered governor Matawali has actually repealed the, um, that law so moving forward we even have president former past ex of the state Nigeria um, Nigeria as a whole we are paying that to our ex president we still have Go On Alive, Show Shagari Alive, Abu Salam, Abaka. Oh, Show Shagari, not alive. Oh, so I'm sorry. And the Shonekom, um, so you see, the, the intention behind that law may be right. But the problem is that can we really trust politicians that they won't even steal before they retire from office? You know, if you look at it very well, I think those who, who started this, there are, there, are, there are countries where they have represented, where they have similar law. But you look at it that in those countries, the level of corruption among politicians is very, very minimal. That is if it exists at all. But you look at it that after leaving office, at least there is guarantee that uh, the state will still take care of four members of my family. Uh, they can take care of uh, my medical bill. I'll have access to four cars. Maybe they, that, that, that they will change every four, four years or two years, as the case may be. 
When you look at some of these things, you now look at it. What does man really, really need in life? Do I even need to steal a lot of money? When my future has been guaranteed by this person, I think that is the intention behind the bed because mm. people find it difficult to trust our leaders here because of what they have done in the past and what they continue to do. Mm. You now look at it. Is it right that after amassing so much wealth while in office, they just want to be benefiting this? If it can guarantee that they won't, there won't be there won't be corruption, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice one. There is nothing wrong with it. Once you know that your guarantee is your future is is is, is assured, mm. you know that if you, if you fall ill, the state will take care of your beef for maybe four of your children, your wife. Mm. They take care of your almost all your bills. Mm. Once you are sure of that, you know you look at it. What do you need in life? Why do you have to steal so much money while in office? I think that's the intention behind it, but can we really trust them that even with all this one guaranteed, we do not still be, you know, stealing money while in office? I think that's where the problem is. Babajile, your final second, yes? Yes, I, mm. I commend Governor um, Abelo Matawale for taking this decision. People may say, oh, it's politics. Mm, that is their problem. If we choose not to take the decision, people will talk. If we take the decision, people will still talk. But this is a decision that sits well with the masses. The people are happy. All the people that I've spoken to today from Zamfara, they were very happy with the decision. All that they want <coughs> is for their governor to live up to his word by ensuring that the money that will be saved is spent on what he said he will spend it on, which is youth development and infrastructure. So we are waiting to see the governor uh, uh, deliver on this promise. So it's a great decision. It's a happy day in Zamfara State. Okay, kudos to Governor Matawale. Moving on now, according to <coughs> late British writer George Bernard Shaw, an election is a moral horror, as a bad <coughs> as a battle except for the blood. In countries like Nigeria, elections are becoming much more than battle. The just concluded election in Kogi State with its attendant killings comes to mind. But the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared readiness to conduct a credible supplementary election for the Kogi West Senatorial Districts. This time, the two gladiators, Senator Dino Milai and Smart Adeyemi, will battle for votes in 53 polling units on Saturday. Clerics and other stakeholders are, however, cautioning the police against a repeat of the show of shame on, of November 16. They want INEC and security agencies to turn a new leaf and conduct free, fair, credible, and acceptable rerun. Meanwhile, let's remind you of what Babajiri Koladi Otitaju said about the outcome in the rerun in our discussion on the 11th of October. A rerun has been ordered, and so it's about uh, adjustments and readjustments and so on. Yeah, it's about um, preparing for the election. He, he obviously thought he would not need to face smart idea I mean, a fresh election. But uh, the appeal court has said, no, go, go back and do a fresh election. So he has to be ready to contest the election. And the truth is, if he are below, wins the election in Kogi because it's 90 days. This election, yeah. uh, this fresh election must happen within 90 days. If Yabelo wins the governorship election. For a second be, term. For a second time, it will be very difficult for Dino, if not impossible for Dino to come back because clearly the system in inverted commas does not want him to win uh, is the, the system don't, that regimented? The system doesn't want him in that Senate, you know? So the Yorubas will say, I want ye on the fair. The world people, no yeah, like The people, world people, no like You know? So I want ye on the fair. Now, I want ye are the people that I'm referring to as um, the, I mean, that, as, as the, the world. The so, so, so this world in this case is narrowed down to Kogi West or to Kogi as a whole? No, it is, uh, the, as the governor of a state, everywhere is his consistency. So he can afford to use the, the resources at his disposal to stop his enemy from winning any election in any constituency. But 
with what I saw on the 16th of November in Kogi State, mm -hmm. I, I don't need to predict what will happen anytime the so-called uh, rerun happened. But if the Inspector General of Police was there, I keep saying this, Tuesday for the stakeholders meeting and he gave all sort of assurances and he took our time, he spent almost like an hour telling stakeholders and the candidate of the People's Democratic Party engineer Wada said, look, he has it in good authority that there are people, fake police were going to operate that day. How are we going to know the original police? That was the question he asked that day. And the IG told him, camped everybody nerves and everything. But what we saw on election day, the rest they say is history. So if 15 polling units, 53, 53 polling units, GD, what do you expect? Well, um, I think that given that uh, Smart ADMA has a lead, a little in excess of 20,000. There's no way that Geno can climb back. It's just not going to happen. Um, I see people, you know. How many votes are in con contention? Just a little over 30,000 votes. Oh. You know, they always talk about uh, registered voters. Registered voters. Yes, registered voters in this case are about 40,000 plus, 45,767. But a lot of these registered voters don't have PVC. Yeah. Now, the people that will pick up their PVC. There are people who have PVC that will not come, come out to contest. When, we'll leave I that said, area. I, when I said that, I would not predict because we usually predict three days to the election. Mm -hmm. Those who went on social media abusing me over some of the things that I said months ago. Months ago, even when I was saying it, those who are not prediction, we are just talking. If it's a prediction, you will say, okay, for this election, this is what you see. They didn't refer to, look at, what we just played was something that I said oh. in, uh, in October. Yeah. And I said it there that if Yabelo yes. wins his election, mm. that it will be difficult, if not impossible, mm. for Dino to, to, win. to win. I didn't give Dino a chance, it was clear. Now, before then, on a few days to election, when we came here, we were discussing, and I said that, the quantum of votes available in an area does not determine who wins. What determines who wins is the strategy. And we said it there that the governor has resources, he will do everything where he thinks his enemy can win or his opponent can win. He will go there, make sure that posts are disrupted. That was what happened. So it's not a case of, oh, ah, he, 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 he bungled it, he did this. There are places where we spoke on this program long before that election. We already said what will happen, and it was exactly what I said will happen that eventually happened. So this is the case. In a free and fair election, mm -hmm. Dino will defeat Smart Adeyemi any day because the people of West do not love Smart Adeyemi. This is a fact. He has served them before. They were tired of him. They rejected him. They rejected him. So... Well, right now, the people do not even expect the election to be free and fair. If you, if you, if you listen to what those clerics are saying, in fact, one of them had to nail down, uh, Reverend Samuel Awola, Awola Awola be, be, he knelt down and was begging INEC and security agencies that, look, people can't be dying because of election. It's beyond INEC. You know, it's, be, it's beyond mm, INEC, it's but beyond INEC, INEC. You, see, you see why it is not beyond INEC. Mm. INEC has an obligation to cancel some elections that they refuse to cancel. Because now, when they talk about 53 polling units, these are not the only polling units affected by violence. If you check, uh, local jail, for example, because of the quantum of votes there, there were so many polling units affected by violence in local jail, but a lot of them, resor results were returned from, from, from uh, a lot of them, which is wrong. Christ was an example. Which is wrong. So that is why INEC has to uh, be put in the mix. If we can't be, care, be, be sure that election will be free and fair, then it is not worth the battle. It is not worth it. I see governors who are not popular in Nigeria and winning elections because our system allows it. We have to move away from the shitty elections that we are conducting in our country and do elections that people will truly believe in. That's why we are saying, okay, electronic voting. It has to come. 
the president must give his assent to, 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 to the bill that is before him. He has to cover himself in glory. He has to give himself immortality. How will you be remembered? Will you be remembered for uh, making our elections better? Will you be remembered for improving on our electoral it's process it's after you took over from good Lord Jonathan? Or taking us backwards. He has to, he has to be conscious of how history uh, will judge him. If he, does, if he thinks only of today, he thinks only of now, and he does not think of the future, then it is bad. A leader shouldn't do that. I want a nation where I can proudly, when talking to my African friends, say, yes, we too, we can do great election. For now, I cannot do that. No. If I go no, to no, South no, Africa no. today now, they will be mocking us. No. You need to see how South Africans, the joy that South Africans take in ridiculing Nigerians because of some of the, the things, unavoidable nonsense see. that we do to ourselves. So we should stop chasing ourselves with cutlasses because we want to do election. Why it you? has to stop. What do you make of the um, Kogi West rerun? Nothing will change Ayo, from what we had in uh, uh, on uh, November 16. The only the only difference may be that because this is a, 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 an election that is taking place in uh, 53 polling units mm. and not the entire state. The level of violence will reduce. It will reduce. But there will mm. be violence. There will be rigging. There will be battles. People won't even come out. That Our much. people will be afraid of coming out uh -huh. because so, of what happened. Pieces people were killed in Kogi alone in the last. How many people have they arrested? No. How many people have they prosecuted? The result is there that when they, when people are killed, no, nothing will happen to to the killer. Somebody, they may, was, they may not, somebody they, was born, was born alive I, I, in a house. How do you want that family to feel? Election, you know, because of election. Because of election. Because of election, people are being killed, mm. and you know, thoughts will come around. It's not Thai neck that usually that is usually to be blamed for these kind of things in most cases. It's a politician. It's a politician that will instigate violence. And, and when I and when they come, show. I never will show. And when they come on or, the uh, activity on, on the day of the election. On the election, when, the reluctance to cancel election when talks, is, is when, when talks when talks come around to snatch ballot uh, boxes, the police policemen they will look the other way. They won't go for them. They won't go after them, mm. except if they are the one they are asked to go after. And we say we are deploying uh, uh, you thirty five thousand you, you pay uh, a lot of policemen. you pay them allowances. You pay a lot, you fuel a lot of vehicles. I don't know if people will still be killed. They will wait till 1, 2 p.m. After Over people might have um, exercised you know, we, their we franchise, should, we should stop it. Come and we should do election in a way that people can, it should be, election will be fun. It's not about killing of people. I'm very sure on that day, a lot of people will be afraid to come out. Because if I were in their shoe, I won't also come out. Because nobody I can guarantee it. Nobody, 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 nobody can no guarantee doubt. the safety of my life. Why do I have to come out and, uh, and vote for somebody? Mm -hmm. and Why? Your life. And risk my life. Life should not be taken. Life because is just, too sacrosanct. Hmm. For anybody to just take it like that. Now, when you look at, when you do a comparative, um, comparative analysis between even what happened in 2019 and 2019 election, we didn't have it this bad. As in this election, we just finished in May. Hmm. If, as it, if, if it had been, if it had been during the 2019 elections, hmm. yeah, Bello would have been defeated. The same okay. way Bindo was defeated. The same way that Emi Abubakar was defeated in Bauchi, Yabelo will have been defeated because attention, the kind of attention that they gave um, Kakogi was because it was um, a staggered election. Uh, yes, it was an uh, off season election. Mm. All those governors, including the little man from Kaduna who came to Nidam, all of them will have been struggling to see how they For will win survivor. in their states. Mm. So they will have had no time to come and help him with strategy, with resources, and all that. So the national election, and then the police, even some of the policemen that uh, were deployed to that place, they will have been uh, spread uh, mm -hmm. thin across the country. So the national election, when everybody's involved, mm -hmm. chances are that it will be much more um, uh, less violent. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at it, the videos that came out of Kogi, are almost more than the videos that came out from uh, the answer. entire <laughs> no from the entire the country. Uh, 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 country, country in 2019. Honestly. So this is the thing. It's because it's easier to deal with those off-season elections. All your resources, everything, everybody will go there. You know. So this is the thing. This is the thing. It will, uh, now the it's an off-season election. Your attention is on it from Abuja. Mm -hmm. All they want to do. Imagine the, the, the APC chairman saying that everybody who tried, uh, who, who uh, left with uh, uh, Bukola Saraki, 
that they, they, they fall lost, not knowing that Dan Baba in Sokoto is still in the Senate. In fact, he was sworn in last week. <laughs> <laughs> it, that means that is the goal, that everyone who defected with Saraki must not return to Senate. Mm, but unfortunately, them. Dan Baba from Sokoto, he regained his seat through the House of, I mean, through the uh, Appeal the court. court. He didn't know. <laughs> And okay. the chairman was busy feeding uh, the public with a force. Okay, meat. I think I have emails from Lagos State. Thank you for joining us. It's gone. Okay, okay. <laughs> they didn't know. <laughs> it's very, very funny. You cannot, even if that is the goal, you don't have to publicly say it. That is why it looks obvious that, look, whatever Dino does, he cannot win an election. But what we want is if the people want him, you are from. Uh, Edo State, as in, as the chairman of the party, you are not from Kogi West. It's not your business who the people want, you know. So if the people truly want this person, let them vote, and the vote the and vote the should votes. not be characterized by violence. Let the people have who they want. This is what we are saying. Let the people have who they want. Don't use power to rob the people of uh, of the right uh, representation. You are doing that. You are. You, it's, it's God that you have offended. Because they say the voice of the people is the voice of God. If the people say this is who we want, don't mm. force someone else on them. It is barbaric. Mm. It is inhuman. It is a demonstration of backwardness for us to have an electoral system that allows this kind of thing to continue. And we are saying that it, it has to change. In future elections, we want to see clearly that it is the wish of the people that prevails, Joe not is, the wish of the barrel of the gun. Mm. Joe is calling us from Lagos. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead. I think uh, Baba Jide seems to forget something that the same way those other people, even uh, Dino, reek into the election with the last time he won. Where? When? So are you expecting that when read? others rig in? Where are the do read that? that, uh, that was what, evidence do you have? what evidence do you have? Which one do you talk of evidence? When there is always, they are always rigging election to get in there. No, it's not true. It's not everybody that rigs election. I do election. not agree with you because don't. in some states which you claim... No, no, no. Like don't, don't, don't generalize. South -South. Don't generalize. It's, it's not everybody election. who rigs there election. What you are saying is that you who went to cover who, an election, you didn't see rigging. Who went to cover an election? You were not there. You are, you are saying that you didn't see rigging. You didn't see people being chased with cutlasses. <laughs> Local job. You know what it is? Clear. State capital. <laughs> I thought I was You know the problem safe. with our people, eh? You know <laughs> the problem with our people? <laughs> if you don't like a particular person, <laughs> if that person suffers a misfortune, you are happy. If you belong to APC, and APC goes ahead to rig election, you are happy you with the outcome. Right. You say it is right. It is right. If you are PDP, PDP rigs election and gets away. Because I was saying that there are some governors who are not popular, especially in the East, and they still manage to win elections due to rigging and other manipulations. You are happy to see that happen because you are PDP. The average Nigerian is extremely selfish. Mm, we must. We, we don't mm. look at the bigger picture. One day this thing will affect someone who is close to you. That place, that day you will start lamenting. When I came back from Kogi, I was a little bit depressed. Uh -uh. On Monday, I had to excuse myself because I couldn't. You couldn't say stomach what, I what I he saw. He no, called me to say what is going on. I this is the thing. This is an eyewitness. Someone who witnessed it. Yeah. You sit in Lagos or somewhere, and you are telling us that oh, what we are saying is not true. And we have videos. Why there are videos all over the place. See, the truth is that. In, in, in fact, do you see those women that were singing that see, uh, yeah, if uh, they're going to ta 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 if you don't agree, you will hear ta 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 ta, 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 ta. And one of them even did like this. One of those ah, beautiful ta, 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 ta. You hear gunshot in the background. It's even a separate uh, video okay. where the guy was using the gun. He was firing inside commissioner's quarters in Lokoja. He was firing into the hair to the sound of that music. So if, 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 if people already made up their minds that if you don't agree, we, we, we will kill you. That's what it means. This is what people like Joe fail to see. You see, we are, you see, the thing is, we, we, is the truth that we are talking about is we love our nation. Mm -hmm. That's why we are saying this. We want our nation to be able to organize Election. elections it's, that it's, people can be it's proud it's of. It's not encouraging. It's not encouraging. Eh? Why, why so you can't be happy because someone you, you don't like because they rigged the election against him. For sure, you realize that there's always a first time in everything that we do. You know, the fact that they have been subverting the will of the people for long doesn't mean eh. that they will be getting away with it each time they do it. A day we call that people will resist. 
it will not be now. And there will be bloodletting. Uh, and there will be bloodletting because mm -hmm. if it is about Dino, let it be Dino. If people say they, they know they want, let it be Dino. If they say it's the him they want, let it, be, let it be free and fair. Let it be credible. We have done it That's before. Free, we can, fair, we can free, fair, do it fair, again. Credible. Yeah. It's the same country where we had June 12, 1993 election. That was as well as when the we had the last the, election, the, the last election, we can repeat the same here. No one did anybody hear about people being killed. This is a question for G, for Joe and his conscience to answer. Did we report people being killed in, in uh, Kogi when they had the last election between both men? The answer is no, no life was lost. They had that election, hmm. and somebody won. You are now saying, Oh, did not to always rig election. It's not everybody who rigs election. APC does not have to rig election in, in, in Lagos to win because it's almost a one-party state already. All right, Wahid. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's so heated in the studio. <laughs> yes, Thank <now>. you. <laughs> well, we have to say the journalist truth now. It's, um, it's something that is baffling and it's quite worri worrisome. We thought so with um, Atayu Jaga made progress in 2015 mm -hmm. that our electoral system we could just be consolidating on the progress. That remember Professor what Atayu Atayu remember Jaga what Jaga was even saying. Where I was saying that elections, the 19, uh, 2019 elections were uh, characterized by rigging and all that. And then shortly after he said it, not even not quite one month after it, we are seeing uh, this sort of uh, shenanigans in the name of election. People going to an hotel where a governor who has immunity was present, going to harass him. It. And it's you sit in Lagos and be saying that well, the nothing something. is not true, it's not true, it's not true. Okay. Because Thank you we don't like the truth. We continue the conversation no. <laughs> after the program. Thank you, Baba Jide. We live for the truth and we we'll continue to say the yes, truth. Yeah. And that's our offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can also watch journalists hang out on our platform showing on the screen. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. Our feedback channel is journalists hang out at TVC TV. I'm Ayodili Uzubak. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria. Thank you.